Eight Pittsburgh police officers, including two supervisors, will be disciplined for their role in the death of a man who was in their custody. As Pam Serrano reports, recommendations were handed down today on the department's use of force. According to investigators with the city's critical incident review board, officers involved in the tasing incident of Jim Rogers made a series of procedural errors. The tasing of 54 year old Jim Rogers happened in Bloomfield October 13th when police were responding to a call for a suspected stolen bicycle. Officers tased Rogers during that incident. He was taken into custody and then went into cardiac arrest. He was transported to Mercy Hospital where he died the next day. KDKA investigator Andy Sheehan obtained call logs and 911 tapes from the incident that indicated Rogers told police he was hurt. Those logs also indicated officers intended to take Rogers to the jail, but instead took him to Mercy Hospital only after he went into cardiac arrest while en route in police custody. Following their investigation, the city's critical incident review board is now issuing major recommendations for policy changes to help prevent this from happening again. They include making sure a supervisor is present and that patients get a medical assessment after use of force. Incidents involving a taser will require emergency medical response. Pittsburgh police personnel will also be retrained on the duty to intervene policy. Pittsburgh Police Chief Scott Schubert issued this statement tonight saying we failed our fellow citizen. The measures and changes being announced today are intended to ensure a tragedy such as this never occurs again. Mayor Peduto's office is also calling the death of Rogers in police custody a tragedy and said the critical incident includes multiple failures. Today's announcement around pending disciplinary action and changes is a starting point. We must continue to make reforms. The Pittsburgh Bureau of Police will also require officers to become fully certified emergency medical responders. Now, the district attorney's office is also investigating, along with the Allegheny County Police Department. Pam Serrano, KDKA News.